All right, guys. So I've been sending in a lot of uh, Amazon FBA shipments lately, and I've and I've started to realize that there's a lot of supplies that go along with it, and I kind of keep them in different parts of my office, which is also my garage. And I mean, there's only so much space to work with. So I was kind of thinking it'd be cool to have one little spot that was, I mean, not portable, but you know, just just like a, a cart or something that, that I could use to to store everything and move it out of the way when I'm not using it. So let's go see what we can find. <laughs> Load up. I'm oh. locked and loaded. Load up. Pull up. Buckle her up. Buckle her up. Buckle her up. We're back. We got it picked up. It's the uh, <laughs> Elliot's gonna help me build it. This is the uh, Recollections Lexington three tier rolling cart. So let's uh, see how long this takes us to put together. High five. High five. Took a little over 10 minutes to make. Put my arm back. All right, so let's start filling it up with supplies and we will see what, what the final product looks like. Okay. All right, so here's what we ended up with right here. I'm actually really happy with it. Um, let's kind of go row by row about what I did here. Uh, well, first of all, my wife made me a, a pretty awesome little uh, decal right here. Um, uh, she makes a lot of decals and t-shirts and stuff like that. I um, actually really like that part. Uh, here on the top, I put in some dividers. Uh, the first one, there's just some basic tools, a couple screwdrivers, a tape measure, a uh, razor knife. Um, then, then some uh, cleaning stuff like some toothpicks, Q-tips, uh, zip ties, Scotty peelers, markers, and then just a bunch of random batteries, battery chargers. You know, things I use all the time to test products with. Uh, got a got a, a a precision screwdriver set that I use all the time for, you know, changing batteries and toys and stuff like that. Here's a little uh, video game cartridge repair set. Uh, very very handy. Here. Here on the top shelf also, I added a couple hooks. 
uh, one one for my tape gun and one uh, and and then one for my heat gun. Um, heat guns I use to uh, heat up price tags to make them peel off easier without leaving a bunch of residue. On the other side, I actually added a power strip with a couple zip ties. You know that way I can actually plug in my heat gun or plug in battery chargers. Um, added a, a little zip tie just to hold my shrink wrap, and then there's my box resizer. On the back here, I actually put a little trash can. Just kind of bought a tiny one and cut a hole in it, and then put another hook. So, you know, there's always a trash can for like uh, stickers and stuff like that. On the second shelf, I got a bunch of cleaning supplies like my uh, microfiber cloths, some baby wipes, some magic erasers, goof off, and some isopropyl alcohol. Those are probably the two cleaners I use the most. And then on the bottom shelf are a bunch of labels. Um, uh, priority labels for eBay um, do not separate stickers some some uh, um, suffocation labels for poly bags there's some more tape and some um, extra tape down here on the bottom too and then if you spin it around a bunch of there's a shipping label there's some FBA uh, skew labels and then just some paper for the printer also but yeah um, overall I'm, I'm pretty happy with it it's actually really sturdy uh, rolls around really easily so I bought this at uh, Michael's as you saw um, with the coupon that they put out every week I think I paid $35.99 which I think is a pretty good price uh, Ikea I think also sells one for 30 or $35 but it's uh, definitely worth it and I think it'll come in handy so just let me know if you have any questions uh, Please like, um, subscribe, comment if you have any ideas for content that you'd like to see. Um, otherwise, I'll see you next time.